You are watching Local 10 News, South Florida's only true high-definition newscast. See the difference. True HD. Only Local 10 News. A treatment that has proven to help grow eyelashes is now being used in the battle to beat baldness. But does it work? The latest research just ahead. Hair loss, unfortunately, affects about 35 million men and 21 million women in the U.S. But even after years of study, treatments to grow hair or slow hair loss remain limited to only two FDA-approved drugs. Now, some hair loss specialists are seeing if a newly approved drug for eyelash growth might just also be a breakthrough treatment in battling baldness. After battling baldness for years, Howard Gostorfer decided late last spring it was time to do something about it. I found that I wanted to um, keep uh, the hair that I had and um, I wanted to, um, uh, you know, progress into restoring hair that um, I have lost. Right, I'm going to take a look at the scalp closer. Howard turned to Boca Raton hair restoration specialist Dr. Alan Bauman, who's now trying out a new treatment for hair loss, a drug called Bimatoprost. Bimatoprost came from the world of ophthalmology as a treatment for glaucoma. The side effect that was seen in the glaucoma patients, uh, of, of course, by putting it in their eye, was incredible increase in the length, density, and darkness of the eyelashes. Bimatoprost is the key ingredient in Latisse, a product recently approved by the FDA to grow eyelashes. Bauman and other experts theorized that what grows hair on the eyelids could also grow hair on the head. And certainly, we had a lot of patients who were willing to try. After three months of daily use, Dr. Bauman measured noticeable changes in the pigmentation, length, and thickness of Howard's hair. So far, so good. I'm completely satisfied. But Dr. Bauman says formal research on the drug still needs to be done. It could be years before we know how to use this medication appropriately, um, what the right dose should be, what the right frequency should be. And just so you know, trying this potential treatment for baldness isn't cheap. A tiny three milliliter bottle of the drug costs $120, which patients go through in just two to three weeks. But hey, it's a big breakthrough.